Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I would like to welcome you to another Transformers video review. I'm Bowser the Torn, blasting at you with Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Barricade. Now, before we go on to the figure, let's take a look at the box. So, for the box, we got a nice Peter Parker. This early into the review, and my tongue stops working. Of course. So, boom. Nice piece of art, nice piece of artwork of Barricade. Honestly, it looks completely different from the first movie, Barricade. You can't even tell that this was that same Barricade. But apparently, it's, it's the same Barricade from the first movie. Apparently. I, I saw the movie, I don't see any similarities except for the fact that He's a police car. A Mustang police car. Well, we got Barricade, Transformers, The Last Night. Okay. Deluxe Class, Classe Deluxe, Classe Delujo, Classe Deluxo. Different languages. Silicon Logo, Hasbro, Transformers, Premier Edition. Yay, Premier Edition. On top we got Berserker, Megatron with a shield. All the... All other video reviews I've seen, he does not have that shield. He didn't even use it in the movie, so he he doesn't have a shield. That's a bit inaccurate, I think. By the way, my troll looks like an absolute badass. Then we got Barricade. Start joining in text. On the left side here, we got more of Barricade. Yes, Barricade, move your lazy face. On the top here, we got Sinister Trickster. Sinister Trickster? I thought he was an enforcer. Or one of Megatron's most trusted lieutenants. Oh, by the way, this? I think this is a taser. On the back here, you got your obligatory product shot. You got cross sales. You got Bumblebee, which is pretty much the Age of Extinction version. Just repainted a little bit, I think. Got Silicon Berserker, which is one of the dreads. More Sargerian writing. Warning! Said baby. Choking hazard, you not eat anything in this box. I don't know why you would. Made in Vietnam. Apparently. Authentic! Badge of authenticity. Yay, authenticity. Let's move on to the accessories. Gray molded gun of... Looks more like a gun a human would use, to be entirely honest. Oh, come on, okay. Work with me, baby. Come on. There you go. Got a nice gray plastic. Nothing special. There's a pen gun, as most cops use. Now that I think about it, I think Bay's trying to make the cops look bad because Barricade is a Decepticon and he tries to do a police car. Cop tried to kill Hero in the first movie, Bumblebee. That's all the leads I got on that. Anyway, second one. We got a little truncheon, or shock baton, or nightstick, whatever you like to call it. But on the box it says truncheon, which is interesting. <laughs> a little more detail, a little bit on the front, and a little bit on the handle, and that's it. Nothing too special. Got a little tab here for storage, and a little handle for them to hold on to. Not much there. So, get on to the figure. It rolls. Like rolling things always should. Wheels are cast in a black plastic, as everything is. That's, uh, to be honest, those are bad rims, to be honest, to choose for this vehicle. I would have chose something a bit more muscle car like. You got to punish and enslave. Work with me. Yes, punish and enslave. That is a thing. The back here, again, atrocious, atrocious uh, back end. Reason why it doesn't doesn't scream Mustang. Oh, in the front, definitely. This doesn't scream Mustang. A a whole lot. Hood, nice interesting hood detail. Come on, work with me, camera. Stop.
stop focusing out, please. Come on, dude. Stop. Please. Yeah. That's a nice flaky finish. Transclearant plastic windshields. Nothing too special. But, all in all, interesting uh, vehicle mode. Interesting. And you can see the entire robot. Visible head syndrome. Yeah, it's right there. Pretty much see his crotch area, his legs, his feet. So let's get on to transformation, shall we? Let's untab the doors and bring this entire section up. I said up. Okay, that works too. Bring it up. Fold these in. The legs, you want to twist them at the thigh joint. Bring the back end up. It's on double hinge, so boom, boom. Bada bing, bada bada boom. Mirror it on the opposite side. Rotate at the thigh swivel. Bring this bit out and around. Bring the foot out. And you got the legs all done. Shaka bing, shaka boom. Don't, don't, don't follow me, barricade. How dare you? Now we will bring down the arms. Down the arms, just swing them around like so. Bring them up. They are on this ratchet joint here. Swing them down. And even though the instructions say to keep them swinging up like this, I keep them pointed backwards. Oh, you can bring this down if you want to the chest. And that kind of brings out his head. Oh, you can bring that forward one click, by the way. Again, bring this forward. Bring it left to click. Swing it around. Swing it backwards. And... Oh, the backpack. Oh. It's on a double hinge, so you want to bring this down. This tab will go into a little hole on his butt. Right there. I'll take that tab. Bada bing, bada boom. I'll compress it in. I'll compact. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Got some interesting little detail on the abdomen there. Which we saw in the vehicle mode on the underside. Again, it... Well, not again, but... In my opinion, he's a little stubby. To be entirely honest. Yeah, in my opinion, he's a bit on the stubby side. Though, on the packaging... Kind of makes him look a bit tall. So he makes him kind of look a bit taller than his stubby self. It's... It just... It irks me a little bit. That's what... Get over here, box. Go away. I don't care about you. And give me a moment to transform. Chrome Dome Drift and... Oh, I forgot to do size comparisons. Damn it. <laughs> hmm. Oops. I'll transform back in a minute. Just to show off the size comparisons. One second. And I'm back. So here he is with the first movie barricade. Massive size difference. Massive size difference. God damn, my hands are being clumsy. Why am I being so clumsy? Because early in the morning, of course. Again, from the look, it this one has a much better stature than this one. It, 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 it's like I said, stubby. I don't like stubby. And here he is with Transformers Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Drift. So pretty much at the top of the head, pretty much Warrior Class. With the RD figures. And that was something a bit more parallel for toy lines. 
Here he is with Transformers Titans Return. Chrome Dome with his headmaster Stylor. As you can see, not too bad, but eh. it's not a bad figure. But it's not the best. But I like him. I like him. Anyway. That'll be it. I see, wait a minute. I forgot something very crucial. Tabs. Inside of arms. Dev into there. Oh. I forgot to turn the... Okay. Uh. Huh. All right, the underneath of the arms. These tabs go into here. Tab these in. Bada beam, bada boom. Wrap them around. They should close on their own. And then, arm gun. Eight barrels of doom, death. He can put his gun on the side tab here. Come on. And his truncheon can go on his other side. Move his dumb arm. There we go. And there we go. Now we're complete. Again, this shock baton or truncheon can go in his arms backwards or forwards. Or it can, or it can go in his hand at the handle. And the gun is just a gun. It's nothing too entirely special. But hey, I'll just show it off anyway. Because why not? There we go. Boop. The thing about the problem I have with this is... the Really? I've got to twist this? Okay, fine. You win this time. Hasbro. So again... One thing I have wrong with this figure is that it goes to the trouble of molding in the, where the trigger is. It's just holding it. It's not actually holding the trigger. So if you were to put this in a stop motion, it's it wouldn't technically be firing. It'd be firing particles of bullshit. <laughs> Pretty much. So I just like to keep the shock baton on him, and the gun holstered, and this gun off, and this little thingy gun off. But oh no, it's an interesting figure. Interesting, blah, 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 blah. interesting figure. Interesting mechanics. Nah, okay, accessories. But all in all, it's an interesting figure. I just realized I'm off center. There we go. So it's not that bad. I I like them. I mess with them almost all morning, and most of the afternoon yesterday. So I like them. I would recommend them if you're a collector. For playability, yeah, he's got some playability to him. Does he have a whole lot of? Stop motion ability? A little bit, yeah. Again, his face sculpt. I just realized this. On the box, it doesn't show this, but there's a the Subdicon symbol on his forehead. Right. It's a little purple on him. Because my hands like to shake, apparently. I don't know why, but my hands like to shake. There we go. You can see the Decepticon symbol on his forehead. And it has an Autobot symbol on Bumblebee's forehead. Which I find weird. <laughs> anyway, I should close this up. If you like this, or any other of my reviews, I would mostly suggest MGO or Optimatimus if you want more quality video reviews. Because I've, I've been actually thinking on writing more scripts. 
so I can do more stop motions like my 4th of July special. Which I talked to someone I know, and he actually liked it. Liked the 4th of July special. I'm not sure if you guys liked it, but I enjoyed writing it and going through the run-throughs and actually voicing the characters. It was fun. I liked doing those. I love writing them, too. So I don't, I don't know what you guys think. Anyway, this has been Battleship 321 and a video review of Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Barricade. And that's it. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. Goodbye. Have a fantastic day. Fantastic life. And as always, just keep rolling.